Up next, making uh, well, Hunter's making his second appearance in the Marmy Rock Show. Cody's making his first. We have got Hunter and Cody from Call of All, and really excited. They've got a new music video out. They've got new music on the way. So, Cody and Hunter, welcome to the Marmy Rock Show. Hey man, how's it going? What's up? What's up? Hey, man, it's really good to talk to you guys. And uh, Hunter, man, it's been way too long since we talked to you. And Cody, welcome to the show. So what I want to ask people first is folks will remember Cody from Ages Apart. Folks might know Hunter from The Walking Dead. Tell us how you guys got together and formed Call of All. Well, I guess I could probably have this, uh, this first question up uh, and let Cody answer on the back end. So me and Cody uh, from the same hometown in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, uh, Florence, Alabama area. So, uh, Cody was a little older than me and had been on the music scene for a while. And I actually, this is way back before I was even really doing my thing in music. Uh, I think back in 2008, I went out to one of his shows, uh, and we, and we met there, uh, for the first time. And then as I started up my old band, Days Distance, uh, we got, we were playing in the Alabama region and started spreading out in the southeast. And uh, Cody at the time had been, you know, uh, had moved off to Birmingham, um, and and we met, uh, you know, we hooked, we met again. I forgot when it was exactly, maybe like 2011. We we linked up on some shows, started playing some shows together, um, and then just you know developed a friendship. He actually record, uh, <clears throat> mixed and mastered my old band's uh, second record, and uh, that we released in 2012, and. Uh, after my departure from the band, uh, Cody hit me up early 2013, and we kind of began discussing this idea of uh, you know starting a new project together uh, with Call of All, and uh, you know uh, conversations led to ideas and then songs, and then you know before we knew we were we were in the studio, excuse me, we're in the studio, you know laying down uh, laying down tracks, and uh, in a nutshell, that's kind of that's kind of how it happened. We were playing a lot of shows together. So. so we just released the lyric video to Warren Illusion. And uh, for folks listening, tell us a little bit about the music video and the tune itself. I'll take that one. I'm going to get the next one. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, the music video, I mean, the, the lyric video is kind of a precursor to, uh, to a music video we've got uh, cooking up right now. Uh, haven't announced the release date on that yet. But, um, you know, the song is, is kind of, about uh, the war against the illusion that's being, uh, you know, um, the war that's being pulled over everyone's eyes right now. You know, having to do with the media, just the culture, everything that we're living in uh, at the moment. You know, there's, there's definitely a lot of uh, a misinformation, disinformation, um, a little bit of a, maybe say, uh, a spell <laughs> on people. You know, it's just like, uh, it, it, it's really a call for people to just kind of wake up pay attention, uh, you know, um, and utilize uh, the information that we, that we have available to us now, you know, via like the internet to do, you know, their own research about, uh, you know, certain subject matters. Um, you know, it, it's really a call to wake up to the, uh, you know, from our perspective, the, the war that's, uh, that's being fought against the general uh, populace, you know, to confuse and and it just caused uh, a lot of chaos in our society. So, um, you know, the lyrics are kind of kind of explain the rest when you listen to the track. But that was kind of the inspiration for that. So I'm going to throw this one over to Cody. Um, you know, I know you guys are from Alabama. I don't know if you're still based in Alabama. So tell me a little bit about where you're recording the record and who's producing it and all the good stuff that's for the upcoming record. Well, we started uh, we started tracking probably what 2014, Hunter. Yeah, and, 2014. And uh, we got in there and did a lot of pre-production on it. And we recorded uh, at uh, BLP Studios, the Long Lane Productions, and uh, Pelham's right outside of Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, I, I did the producing on it, and um, we had a, a session drummer come in, a good friend of ours, uh, Tim Stanton, come in and lay all the, you know, the drums and percussion down for it. And basically, me and Hunter, you know, got in there and just and worked together and, and finished it up. Um, I know Hunter; he was, you know, he was moving around a bit at the time, and so he would have to, you know, he'd have to come in, fly in, or drive in, and 
uh, you know, work on it for say weeks at a time. But, you know, basically we got in there, me and him write really well together, and our ideas click well together. So we, you know, we're all we're both on the same page as as far as how we like guitar sounds and drum sounds and how we like the vocals and all the sonic qualities. And when it comes to being, you know, songwriters, that's something we both kind of started with. You know, we both started songwriting and then developed into singers and musicians and what have you, you know, after that. So it's, it's been a really cool um, process because, you know, both of, both of us have been in, you know, different scenarios in the studio and working with multiple people. And so this... I think this is the first time both of us have kind of sat down, just two people in the studio and got work done. Oh, no, no, I say most definitely. <laughs> I agree with everything yeah. you're saying, Cody. Well, I mean, it's just, it was super efficient, you know? I mean, uh, when the subject matter, you know, me and Hunter's on point with the subject matter, and we're, we're both very adamant, you know, about expressing that. And so, you know, when we came together on this and, uh, it was just a, a really awesome time to kind of bring these ideas to life. And I know we got several more cooking as well, but, um, you know, we're excited about everything dealing with this record because it's perfect timing. So we know the album's coming out, uh, we, we think, in August. Tell us a little bit about more what folks can expect to hear on the record. Is the, the style of War and Illusion consistent with what we're going to hear from the other music on that record? Kind of, it's, um, the record's extremely dynamic. I mean, you've got, you know, ballads on there that's, you know, for the ballad people, and you got heavy songs. I mean, it's, it's, it's War and Illusion is, is kind of a good middle of the road to this record. Um, uh, you know, I think we, how did we have, like, I think we had, like, 20 songs or something to pull from. When we yeah, we had it. We had about 20 songs to pull from, and uh, um, we wound up picking, like, uh, yeah, only seven to make the record. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's really, we had several left, but these just kind of tied together perfectly uh, from top to bottom. You're know, telling a good story um, without, you know, we'd like to think there's not really any filler tracks on the record. You know, it's, <laughs> everything kind of has its place. Uh, we had a lot to choose from. So we threw out anything that didn't really match the time frame of this record. You know, like a record to me kind of captures a moment of time for a particular artist or band. And this one, to me, perfectly did that. Um, so, yeah, August 25th, uh, Born Illusion, all over the place. Uh, pre-orders are going to go out in the coming week or two. So, you know, people will be able to pre-order on the iTunes and, and callball.com and everywhere else. So. And, and we'll be on Spotify as well. And I had a few things I wanted to add to that. You know, one thing I would say from my perspective with the record is, you know, we, we kind of went into the studio with, with no preconceived notion of what are we going to sound like. Right. We didn't, we didn't have anybody... This was a kind of at a time where after I left the old group, you know, me personally speaking from my standpoint, you know, I was, we were kind of just stripped away from everything. We weren't, you know, on the scene, you know, playing shows at the time. We didn't have anybody influencing, no manager, no nothing, you know, uh, and I had experiences in the past where those things did play a part, um, you know, and, uh, and influencing certain things with my old band, uh, you know, and with like the second record and all, uh, it, it turned out good. You know, it was all a learning experience at that particular time in my career. But with this situation with Call of All going into it, we didn't really have any of those outside influences. We just sat down and we said, hey man, we're going to make a record. We're going to take each, each individual song and then we're going to, you know, just give the song what it needs. We weren't going to try to, to cater to any, you know, trend or anything like that. So we, we just, that's what we did. We took the, the lyrics, you know, and, and the, basically how, how we went about it, the process was, and this is what, one thing I really enjoy working with Cody, and, and I'm thankful to be able to be in a band with, you know, with, uh, with someone like this, you know, but also being able to work production, this, you know, in the studio with, 
uh, him was we went in the situation creating you know a cohesive effort to create Call of All you know between the two of us and put our influences together but he kind of really allowed me to um, to dig deep lyrically you know I wrote wrote out the lyrics and had some uh, you know just some acoustic songs just the chord progressions brought him to him and I said hey the blueprint of the house let's build it from here so he really helped because a lot of these songs you know the lyrics um for me personally, it's my life on display. You know, it, it's authentic, the real stories, the things that have happened. And it, and it really boiled down to that initial instinct for me of why every artist, you know, or at least most of them, um, you know, uh, who, who go through everything, because you don't do it for the fame, the fortune uh, in, in the music industry, because the things that have happened over the past 15 years has made it so tough for a new artist to even break. You do it because you love it because it's deep inside of you and that's what you got to get it out, you know? So Cody really allowed that to be a uh, channel for me with this record. And it was the one thing that I want people to know um, when they hear this music is that it's not something that was put on a, you know, a factory line and fabricated and said, oh, well, let's make it, you know, do this or that, or, you know, it wasn't something, even the ideas and thoughts of the lyrical content. It was all real raw life experiences, real emotions, personally from my life. And, you know, when we came together and created this record, Cody just helped amplify all that and we collectively, uh, you know, created uh, the tracks that you're going to be hearing. Well, some of the best music comes from that kind of a background. And uh, so Call of All is the band, and, of course, the, the video is War and Illusion and the song. Now, you know, Hunter, we're not going to let you go. We can't have one of the saviors on the show without asking you a little bit about The Walking Dead. We're not going to let you escape without that. So just a couple at, I'm going to throw at you here. So um, pretty. Uh, so for folks right. who don't know, you're one of the saviors. You're the bad guys, you know. And uh, yeah. pretty, pretty intense end of the season. Did, did anything in that final episode surprise you? Because I think when you talked before, you don't always know what's going to happen, do you? Well, uh, I don't know exactly what I can comment on in regards to that. But, uh, I mean, I'll say this much. Uh, the season finale was definitely uh, really intense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, a lot of people got to see uh, Sasha come out of the casket. You know, as a zombie. And, uh, and that was, uh, that was I think, I'm pretty sure that was quite a shocker for the fans, you know. Um there was, there was a lot that happened. There was a lot of a lot of tension, a lot you know, uh, a lot of uh, emotional turmoil. Uh, you know, and, and Rick got you know double crossed. Uh, you know, in that last episode. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it was exciting. You know, it was definitely exciting uh, getting to uh, you know be a part of that, and uh, and the, you know the finale, and then the, you know the last this past season as well. Um, yeah, man. I mean, it was it was definitely intense. I think most fans will agree with that. So, you know, because you're one of the saviors, I always kind of wonder this with people that play like the bad guys on TV. Do you get like any kind of sort of people that are angry with you when they meet you and think that, you know they forget that you're an actor and like want to take out any aggression on you because you're one of the saviors? <laughs> you know, fortunately, I haven't met anyone like that yet. Um, everybody that I've met so far, you know, is just like, hey, you know, oh, you know, I saw you on the show, and, you know, awesome, but, hey, can I take a picture with you, nice to meet you, you know, and I'm like, yeah, for sure, don't worry. Um, but no, I haven't met anybody like that, but, uh, I would, I would almost be, uh, you know, you, you never know. Um, some people, um, you know, they, they, they get the whole, oh, it's acting, you're acting, and they, they kind of like, Playfully joking about, oh, you're the savior, the bad guy, you know, boo, you know. But I've never met anybody who's like been genuinely upset and like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I I would hope that uh, you know everybody does remember that that's just a just a role. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too, and I was hoping that was the answer you're going to give me to that question when I asked you. So, uh, one last thing, yeah. man. Uh, hey, has there ever been a thought in your mind of like, man, I got a song that would be great for the show? And have you ever thought about like, would there ever be a chance for you to sing on the show? Man, I wouldn't be, you know, too sure on that. Uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I actually wrote a song uh, with Brett Manning. Um, you know, I don't know what's what's happening with it right now. I've been so busy recently; I haven't been able to, to really uh, 
uh, have my hands on and my mind on everything uh, that I've been doing over the past year. We should really focus on this this record, but we, we did write a song that we were going to toss around to uh, you know some some television shows and whatnot, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens with that in the future. Uh, but as far as in regards to the, the show, I, I wouldn't uh, be specifically certain. Uh, I think I've had some pretty good inspirational ideas, but if it you know made its way uh, to the right person, that they would probably probably dig it. But you know. Um, there's always just a lot going on uh, when it comes to uh, any television show or, or film production. So, you know, you just got to, um, you know, stay in your lane and uh, pray and hope for the best with all that you do, you know, in the music. It's, if a show, uh, those guys or, or you know, anyone uh, picks uh, one of our songs, it would not only be uh, a great honor, man, but a, uh, a good, a, you know, another milestone for us in our careers for sure. Well, listen, guys, I've had a great time talking to you. We've had Cody and Hunter. The band is Call of All. They've got a new album coming out towards the end of August. They've got a music video out right now called War and Illusion. Go out and check out their Facebook page and websites and all that good stuff. They are Call of All. And, uh, guys, I really appreciate you guys being back on the show. Yeah, man, thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thanks for having us. Um, and, and to all the listeners out there, if you guys can follow us, at I am Hunter Watson on Twitter and Instagram and Cody Web Music on Twitter and Instagram and we have our own personal website as well, I am Hunter Watson dot com and then Cody Web dot com. So reach out, connect to us. Uh we're real people, we're gonna say what's up, you know. Uh so uh yeah, thank you so much for having us on the show and we look forward to getting this music out to you guys and uh yeah, finally getting this record out because we've been we've been waiting for a while to release it. Guys, thanks again, man.